Hello and welcome to Supreme Commander Forge Alliance Forever. We have Zlo and Mites again on the ladder. And this time we are in Cobalt Valley. Having casted this for a while. Hasn't been on ladder for a while. And I quite like this map. It's uh, 10x10 as you can see here. But generally you can see there's a lot of empty space. All over the place around the edges of the map so it plays more like a slightly bigger 5x5 map than a 10x10 so lots of T1 lots of commander usage we have some trees in the middle around the base we have a few of these rocks Let's see both players get three of them and then there's some trees and some tiny rocks as well and some medium sized chunks so the build order is low made a pgen he's going to build a mexus he has a lab out the first engineer is going to the hydro so i don't know if he needs to make this pgen if his first engineer is going to the hydro so he might not not investing in the pgen until after we have only three pgens queued up and we have an air factory and four more land factories and a lab from him as well, third lab, followed by a scout. No scout for Zlo's lab. We have another lab as well, so these are quite late. This second lab is kind of late. From Mites. There's likely to be a striker around by the time it gets to its destination, but we shall see. He has a scout with both of his labs. And he hasn't got any of the reclaim. Let's see what the build order is like. Let's see, he still has good balance. Can leave his commander there for another little while. Slow has almost depleted all of his first resources, and he's going first, second, and third land. He's just now running out of mass. Needs these uh, chunks of chunks of reclaim. And you can see when his mass bar hits zero, he starts moving away. He'll probably continue building now. Yeah, you can see he just walks while his, so he doesn't stall mass and uh, delay engineers and tanks out of his factory. This is an engineer. This is an engineer. Come back to me. Come back. Don't miss out on your kill. We have a lab over here running around the mantis. But oh, the mantis kills him. This engineer is surely dead. Will he get another kill here? Oh, this is a tank. Come to meet him. And in three shots, he's dead. So we have one kill. One engineer kill from all those labs. Oh, maybe we'll get another one. The striker is hightailing it over to the right to uh, make sure this engineer is safe. And the scout is looking to see where the lab is going. Let's see... Micring the land scout, he sees the the lab, knows exactly where it's going. Some uh, power overflow from from slow. He's going T two land already, very very fast T two land. He's also assisting that factory. Might's just gonna go for that. Add the spam, stay on T one as you would expect. A lab just finishing off this semi-built mechs. And we have the air factory. First thing out is a scout and an inti. Which is kind of interesting. I think he went third air. I would guess a third air. I'm not totally, totally sure. So he should have seen now. You can see quite clearly that the building is upgrading this uh, health bar you can see even how far along the upgrade is and now the bomber is coming in we already have so that's a problem with going for the air the inti and the scout he's already got two uh, anti-airs that was low and now he's going to send the bomber in so the bomber is likely to die but actually they're in the wrong place they're not in the base there's not Nothing in the base to defend. 
Uh, that's two kills, and it's going to slow down the, the production from slow. On the right, there's five tanks moving in on three, and that's not a good equation for slow. Some reclaim helping out steals the mass of one mantis. Get what you can. And over here, these two mantis don't know that there's tanks here with a scout. Another bomber coming, the first one is killed, but you can see that some dead engineers. And now there's an interceptor out for Zlow. Zlow is still very low on power, he only has three pigeons. And that's probably, he probably has enough even. Probably not, uh, not quite. He's struggling for power right now. And he has, he's had to invest in a lot of anti-air. Which could be a problem, but now the pillars are going to come out, and uh... Under There's not much Mantis... Well, it's very difficult for Mantis to do much versus uh, pillars. Probably gonna... We need to see uh, another support factor, I think. There's so much mass for Zlow. Because he's lost those engineers to the bombers, he's having trouble spending his, uh, his mass. Look at Mites. Much nicer eco balance. I mean, still some overflow. I mean, uh, storage would be probably pretty nice right now. He's investing in more power, so I think you can see he has pigeons here. So maybe, yes, he is gonna use this factory to go T2 land with the adjacency from the power, and we have some storages queued up. Two storages queued up. Now storages are expensive, they're 200, yeah, 200 mass. That's quite, quite a bit. About four mantis, about uh, one pillar. Now the pillars across the map are going to be pretty deadly. I already have five. And this is really the advantage of having pillars on the T2 stage. When you're rushing on a smaller map you can, because they're cheap you can get them into various positions and they're quite quick so that always helps. We do need some some radar coverage from Zlow. He doesn't know what's what's happening, where the units are coming from so it's allowing mites to get some raids in. Have a nice PD here. helped the uh, T2 transition by defending some raids. Two pillars in this army can easily take on a small army of Mantis. Mites does have the economy advantage in generated mass because of a couple of raids here. But overall, very even game. Bomber seems to be trying to kill a mix. And we have storage, so we should see these pillars get overcharged by mites. Under Although this one, it's probably best to just uh, shoot it to death so you leave the reclaim. <clears throat> and just grab that 160 mass. So Mites, with uh, not a very powerful army, he has two Rhinos out now, and about just under 30 Mantis. Slow. Already has nine Pillars out, but these raids are getting in because there's no no radar at all. So he's losing Mexes. He lost this one, he's retaken it, he lost this one, now he's lost this one. This one is going to die as well. And Mites doing a pretty pretty nice push. He's gonna take these mexes for himself. Slow countering his own push to the nice of mexes, and he can sort of cut off reinforcements here with his ACU and maybe send units around. There's not nothing to defend on the right here. There's a lot of damage could be done. We do have a radar in mid now as well. Two radars. Ooh, three radars. Uh, one just died over here. 
Slow also sending some engineers to try and reclaim some stuff here. His ACU is gonna try claim another mech. Still raiding at the back. Look at that. Poor Mantis got murdered. Do we have any support factory? Ah, uh, yes, here's one. Slow's had quite a bit of mass in the bank for for a fair while during this game. Uh, Pillar's running into a PD. Taking a lot of damage. One of them goes down. But now these mexes will die, as will this one. And Mites' economy is getting damaged. Oh, we have T2 mechs from Zlo. I missed that. That's quite important. Has there been. Ah, yes. Mites sees it and is upgrading. You can see that the mechs is upgraded. People are saying they don't. They don't like that, uh, you know, it's like free intel, but, I mean, there's no game where you don't actually get free intel, as far as I'm aware. I don't, I mean, for example, I mean, I don't see why free intel is necessarily a bad thing, and it's not really free because you can still, uh, you can spoof it by control k structures. So I could control k T1 Max and then rebuild it and it looks like it's upgraded. Or, um, uh, like say in, in Age of Empires, they play with score on, so you can actually tell when your opponent is, uh, has upgraded to the next stage like say from feudal to castle age in age of empires I don't really see why that's necessarily a problem you still have to pay attention you still have to do the initial scouting and you can get spoofed as well if you're not actually scouting properly Might's sending in his air looks like he May or may not win this air fight. And it looks like Zlo is going to win it. And there's so many pillars out. We have 18, 19 pillars. What does Mites have? He has 12 rhinos. Now rhinos are better 1v1 than pillars. But it's going to be painful if any of these get overcharged. And here comes the ACU. Now Mites could potentially get a lot of damage on the ACU with this T2 army. But he's, sort he's getting surrounded now. In a very dangerous spot but I think these two um, storages might help him a lot because he will be able to overcharge frequently His rhinos are so are quite separated in various areas we lost one over here oh but that was a nice overcharge four units go down at least two of them are pillars maybe even three A problem with overcharge, of course, you don't get any reclaim, so that's a nice chunk to get. And we have quite a bit here, some T2Rex dead pillars. This PD is being very annoying. Definitely want to see some, some Medusa mixed in. Always have to have that in, uh, only in your Cybern T2 composition. Mites has more HP, I think he should be, should be fighting the ACU. He has lost some, some units to overcharge there. And there goes another one. Zlo is focusing on getting this reclaim and it's going to do wonders for him. Look at all these wrecks that he's grabbing. And this PD is just so annoying. So Rhinos obviously are absolute trash. Oh, he's actually hitting this time. And there the overcharge finishes it. Slow now with a full mass bar, thanks to all that reclaim. If we look at the total reclaim, Slow has 6, no, 5.3k versus only 2,000 for Might, so. I think we can see where the game is being won or lost. What I would really like now is, especially for Might, would be an upgrade. He has so much, because of these two storages, see, he just lets that build to 14, 
14k and then the gun upgrade is 24k so he has more than half of it in storage already power wise and the power is the main problem he can also pause air he can get 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 an upgrade very very quickly and a gun upgrade would be very very nice to have right now this attack on the left is not good these rhinos are just gonna dump a lot of mass and not do any damage it's not there's nothing there's not really any value in sending sending T2 units on raids like that. You are just going to leave mass. And uh, Zlo had a radar to spot this coming. And actually Might's caught, throws in the towel now. After losing this army. And having lost a lot of his... His reclaim he calls it a day. So a bit unfortunate there that he called it at that stage. But uh, I think it was going to be very difficult to come back. We can see the income. Well, it's low at 33. Mites had less T1 mexes and only one T2 mex in comparison to Zlo's two. Smaller army, 14 rhinos to 25 pillars. And Zlo wins the day. It's the reclaim. I'm pretty sure that's the that's the difference here. Reclaim and uh, yeah, mostly reclaim. So interesting to see T2 land there in, and no AC upgrades. Nice play from both guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time.